Hey guys, uh, just want to do a recap here of our trade this morning on Euro New Zealand dollar. Pretty good trade, so let's just jump right into it. I mean, most of you caught this. This was good. It was like 30, 50 pips. Um, let me share the screen a little larger if you guys can see this. All right, so we came in. Let me add on here. Um, stochastics, I guess, it'll be easier to see. We use a slow stochastic. I like the five by three setting. Percent D versus percent K. All right, pretty simple oscillation. And market was in a downtrend. Now we don't have our wave formation bands. I like to use that on the thinkorswim. Don't use the execute on there. Day trade, but um. We, you know, I execute across several platforms. But the nice part about Thinkorswim is you have the um, the bands. All right, so the bands you kind of guide you, especially for you know, any trader that's new to the model. But the wave formation bands would be doing something like this. All right, they'd all be turning down. All right, but the way we identify a trend, I mean, this was. This was breaking what we call the TMS this morning. Okay, so this was moving bearish. And then literally we came in um, and just waited for this 15 minute cycle. All right, so we like to trade within the cycle, 15 minute cycle within the trend. So started selling small here. All right. And then you can see here, this is basically me selling into the high. We got a little bit of a pop back on the one minute. I was offering above the market here. Didn't get filled as much as I wanted. And then we just got the follow through. Um, sometimes you don't need to make it any more complicated than that. Guys, just, just you got to be patient with the 15 minute cycle. All right. And a lot, I guess some of my other sales here don't show. It's X amount of time must have gone by. And then they, they clear off. Um, but if you're too early, shorting too heavy, you're going to have to sit through this 15-minute cycle and it, your average cost will get screwed up and it's just way too much, too much work for you at that point. All right, so... Now I was telling my traders it's pretty slight bounce in here on the one minute. I mean, made a couple grand here today on this, but had we had the one minute bounce more, I don't know if we're going to be able to track this. Yeah, we are a little bit. Had the one minute cycled up here a little bit higher. Okay, we were using the, this pivot high, which was a 15 minute high. And I was willing to sell all the way up in here to 158.50. So I sold some here and then literally was offering above the market. So I had this one minute come up a little bit higher, We're trying to get filled, selling into that pop, and then this would have been a nice trade. But sometimes that happens. You offer above the market, you don't get filled. You just got to go with what you're short. So this is me covering. All right. This is a nice trade, though basically short from up here in the mid 30s covering below 158 the buck nice simple trade guys this morning uh, so what that looked like in the uh, here's our new platform we're using for our trading room and for the real-time alerts so I put all those trades in the real-time alerts also All right, so this is me covering some tens here earlier today. Um, but this is what our trade looked like towards the end, All right? Same stuff. All right. A couple 2200. 2200 bucks right into the uh, I don't know just a little little over an hour of trading so good trade guys 
Uh, listen, visit us at JenkinsRM.com. You can get a free trial of what we call our full access team. And, um, yeah, come join us. Check it out. Check us out. Spend a day in the room. Uh, we just we trade together every day. A lot of Forex. But you can see we're swing trading bonds. Um, you know, we'll trade the futures markets around also oil, gold, etc. So come join the team. Look forward to seeing the room. I'll chat with you guys in the morning.